Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LEC matchup. Crucially placing that vision if you walk too far forward there. At least a little bit of damage would have gone down, and Yikes really still not that tanky in the game. Grob starts to harass, and G2 posturing around the Drake, but it looks like they do not actually want to start it yet. Will finally turn to start. Knowing they have Sheo in the area means there's not really a threat Tough across planners. map. As you highlight, Betty, Warren level 6. Rumble, level six. Everybody looking to get involved. Nuke as well, going to be big here. Caps his poke. Needs to land early to balance out with the Colin can bring to the table. Call the Forge God, getting called out. Now the Equalizer coming down, making it getting lower and lower in the pit. In the meanwhile, Shao's gonna get taken out. Nice arrow snipe from Han Sama. Brokeblade's here to burn them all down, but Nuke gonna try to turn it back. Clean flash coming out for Ice. Brokeblade running, but he's not gonna make it over. Yes, he is! One more on Lebravo, he's dizzy! He thought he had the angle! It's an absolute disaster! And again, Han Sama! French sniper in the midst of the Pit finding two as Broken Blade. Full confidence here, still gonna get knocked up, and there goes Caps! Valkyrie over the wall, an absolute bloodbath. G2 tying up the kill score, or almost as Adam sprints to safety. The big one finally gonna finish the job. BDS needed that fight to go in their favor. They dropped mid wave, they dropped bot wave to try and make that happen. But G. Around the top rivet, securing the scuttle crab. We'll grab that one as Broken Blade moves down. Should always have first move here. Adam fighting just for a bit of control ward control. Nice arrow. Huge long range. Chase DC is there. Mickey should just be dead. Ulti from Shao. Coaling over the wall to give the kill to Nuke. Well executed from the side of BDS. Nice pick. Managing to get Mickey, but that does hurt the Kane of Rooker. This complete for Adam. If he gets some time alone with a side turret, the opportunity for our cops to get some push and look for turrets as well. This is huge for G2. Yeah, but in a very drawn out play, BDS will grab that Drake. Mickey, ready to protect Caps at the very minimum. Sheo, good heads up. Spots that Mickey could be in the bush, but Mickey now might be the one in trouble. TP coming in, the Maokai all over the wall. Now New could be the one to get locked up, but the body block coming in from LeBron is solid. Yak doing a decent amount of damage. First strike coming through. Broken Blade trying to get involved. Knock up from Adam, not going to connect. G2 finding the kill in mid lane, keeping Mickey standing. A crazy collapse from both sides. getting Rift Herald is nice. It's going to be difficult for them to really set up with this Rift Herald. You can look at Dragon in three minutes and go, oh, well, you threaten mid into a potential terror take, but mid is still relatively Secure it, but it gives them access into the bot side of the map. They are thinking about the Dragon spawning in about 50 seconds time, so they're turning attention to this bot tower. Nice rumble. Also, really only MR so far, a single cloth armor otherwise, but conceding mid lane here, a little bit awkward. So Rumble used to clear bottom wave, stops the initial cross map, but in mid lane, BDS commit enough members to grab the tower, and now first access to the Drake here, 15 seconds, they're in a good spot. But as um, Vedi was saying, you don't have access to the Rumble ultimate now, so trying to fight for this isn't really an option. And if you're a BDS, I think you just play off of mid wave, you got the static shiv, which gives ice control over mid push, and you can just defend your mid lane tower and prevent B uh, G2 from really contesting Dragon or anywhere else in the map, because a tier two, G2 can't really push for on the top side. Arrow. Ooh, forcing the flash out from Brokeblade. Couldn't afford to backstep as LeBron was right there waiting. He had to respect that. Lucian damage is uh, something you cannot afford to underestimate. So he respects it. They underestimated uh, the wave clear from BDS at the very least. Another wave is going to come through. Brokeblade still hovering around. Ooh, ulti not going to connect crucially. Q flash back from Yike, but Yike still going to get cut down here. Excellent use of the calling. And now the immediate ball under the G2 backline. Triple kill for Nuke. Mickey can do nothing in response. That was a beautiful fight from BDS. That was so well played by BDS. Patience to not overextend. They knew that BB had probably teleported in towards the mid lane. So like, we're going to take this nice and slow. Not overcommit as G2. You have a reasonably tanky front line but with Maokai not building tanky items. Nuke is pretty free if he wants to to just go for an early IE, maximize that calling damage. But now the pick on the Labrov. Ulti gonna go a little bit wide on a Hantama, not the ideal target. Ice trying to body block for his support, but it might cost him his life in the process. Tries to get away from the red carpet, gets burned to the ground. And as good as the last fight was for BDS, those picks for G2 should just be the Baron. There was a ward at the back of Red Pit that I think spotted Shao out. So they knew that it was just Labrov and Ice there. And G2 capitalized immediately. Now can you steal okay. Shao? Calling. Shao. Can he get into the pit? He stole it! Steals and manages to turn it back. Nuke in the meantime, in the back of the pit manages to take down one. He's still trying to fight on the top side of the screen. We don't get to see it. He tries to eliminate Caps. BDS managed to salvage the situation. Adam, too damn tanky in the mid lane, will not drop to the three remaining members of G2. A situation that should have been disaster for BDS turns into Blue a shit. hero. Has the Baron, but if he can be this effective side laner, they're not going to commit for the tower, though. Instead, they want to set up for the dragon. Three seconds. This will put them on soul point. Should be an easy take. 
G2 do not have the vision, do not have the members to contest this. Adam holding on to mid lane as long as he can. G2 maybe try to get a tower back in response at all. Of BDS already to move, and if G2 get caught off guard, luckily the sapling spots it. Arrow does not connect. BDS a bit split here. Broken Blade's all important to watch. Adam has ult as well, however. Ulti from Mickey goes wide. The Brav's gonna find purchase, but only under Mickey X. Now Nature's Grasp going in. Entire team of BDS tries to move in position, but it just means they've been caught out by the Rumble ult. Good catch on the Sheo, but there's no follow-up damage. Five, five seconds left until Adam's ultimate's up and available as well. BDS have weathered the storm from a huge amount of G2's engage, and now BDS can start to push forward because they know they've got the engage advantage. Do you see how uncomfortable just Zyra and Braum make engages? Like, every time Mickey walks up, there's two plants in his face. He's going to take a chunk of his down, HP down. Every time Yike wants to try and follow up on any engage, there's the Braum potential there as well. It becomes very difficult to find the 5v5. Hiding on topside, preemptively expecting BDS to go for this play. Hoping to catch out Adam Shale, waiting off to the side, grasping roots. Now a TP going to be immediately responded to. Full fight on the top side of the map. Hantama going to get caught out, waiting on the cleanse as long as possible. Bro could play going in. This is one powerful rumble. He's going to remind BDS that quickly. Instant disengage now coming in. Nice ulti from Mickey, only initially going to find the slug. Zenith blade in. Ice in trouble, trying to find space to maneuver. Capsule going to follow up. Unbreakable. Put a little bra, not available. Now all of G2 descending. Nature's grasp to follow. Might be just out of range. Ice and Shao going to walk away. It's a disaster play for BDS. Adam had used his ult to clear the top wave. Doesn't have that for the fight. Nuke TPs into the middle of G2, gets burnt out immediately, and now G2, just like that, are cracking open the base of BDS. Getting aggressive as possible, knowing that those ultimate cooldowns are not available. Adam, though, incredibly tanky, and at least threaten. You get those two items. You can really build anything you want after that. They provide so much damage just from the plants or the burn pass of the Braum. But Arrow now going to connect onto Mickey. Immediate fall up. So you see nice flash off to the side. Hansama locked up briefly, but Mickey just getting chunked away at Ice. Flashing back to safety. Already ignited, but Mickey going down. Now the re engage coming in from Yai, but they've already lost their support. Excellent equalizer. Nuke losing about half his health. Still not enough, though. BDS discipline. Walk in for the last tick of the equalizer. Not ideal, but G2 offer the split. They say, hey, we're running straight to this Baron. Come and fight us, but Nuke more than happy to take a quick break to pick up the soul in the meantime. I don't know if they do this fast enough, though. They're going to try. That is a very low HP Nuke. He does have the TP available, but this is basically a 4v4. That is not the calculation they thought they had made. Already Infernal Soul oh, there for the side of BDS. Now they've leashed the Baron. G2 need to be ready to fight. They cannot give this one away. Nuke recalling. Like he's back. Does need to heal up, but has the TP available. And the fact that the play fizzles means a little bit of threat now to pull a trigger on something, whether that is the Baron or something else. Rob threatening. Mickey walking too far forward. Immediately going to take a ton of damage. The knocker now coming in. That's the equalizer. TP quick in from the side of Broke Blade. Wasn't able to hit level 16, importantly, but Ice off to the side might be in trouble. Cat trying to finish. Come on to Ice. Flashing out of safety. Blinking out far, but Nuke getting the job done. Broken Blade, no equalizer left. Just has to start running at him, unafraid. Starting to step up here. Shao off to the side as well. BDS again finding a pick, finding a kill in the fight. Duke has been stepping up this playoffs. He gets the shutdown onto Caps, a crucial member of G2's success, and now he TPs back in with the Baron in their sights. And because LeBrav has the Warmogs, he's back up to almost full HP. Adam's totally fine. Shao relatively untouched, so it becomes the Ike story. Can he get into the pace? They don't know that he's on this top side. He hasn't spotted Blue Ward to give him vision. Ooh, plant crucially, not gonna spot him, not quite sure where he is. Ready to try to find a way to pit their turn. They're focusing on Mickey, but they're not hitting the objective. Crucially, Yike now going in. Yike trying to steal it, but Shao for the second time this game will mark two. But it is not enough. Yike flashes over the wall. They shut down Mickey, they shut down Yike. BDS with their yeah, second. So the execution for G2 is not simple. They're really going to need to try to find a way to pull Rabbit out of hat with this one. Really a, a mystery team fight to me. But he's an equalizer without a setup. You have cleanse on ice. You have that spell shield on towards Shao. The opportunities to make these plays happen are slim and far between. All right. Equalizer now going down. Decent hits on the LeBrav. Not a whole lot of damage. No one really stepping up means BDS just throw down the Zyra ult as well. Trade ulti for ulti. Continue forward, but with Nature's Grasp down too, and the slow, inevitable siege of this Ash, these Zyra plants, G2 gonna be forced to concede at least this inhibitor, but now the Ornhorn being brought out. Hatsama can't cleanse that one! Nakam's gonna be big, Yike retreating, Mickey, four members still standing tall. The wave coming in. BDS recalls from Adam. Wants to TP back in, potentially, or BDS content just to have advantage. No, they wanna go for a little bit more here. Not gonna end the game, first game. Against Blade going in, he gets deleted. Nuke does too much damage. The Flame Spitter is good, but it's just not good enough. 
That is the most fed member of G2 taken out in the 1v1. BDS, slow, steady, push forward. 24 seconds on Hansama, 50 seconds on Broken Blade. There should be no way for G2 to win this. Mickey going to the backside. Nuke immediately turning back. Excellent shot calling from BDS. They identify the targets and they take them down. Caps trying to split their attention. The arrow still connecting for ice dominance. The name of the game here for BDS in game one as they strike first blood against G2 in this best of five. Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LEC matchup. Is that how that works? Truthfully, I don't plant know. Plant beats rock. What if the plant is also a zombie, guys? This this Zyra skin raises a <laughs> lot of questions. That's next year. That's oh, next no, year. Okay, got the it. Oh, the smite. Oh, but it's the oh. exact reverse, but this time they're getting a kill. That's clean for BDS. I frankly, yike. Greedy to be there for as long as he is. And Once now again, it's getting low here in the early levels. See if G2 can get pressure elsewhere. Broken Blade, not his favorite in the early matchup, and Adam. Really trying to punish his cast goes all in onto Nuke. Nuke now trying to fire back oh. one auto. No! He tried to flash away from Mickey's flash, but just couldn't quite. The gold not ideally placed, dead even in the mid lane when Caps really should have a bit of a gold lead. That said, Cole picked up early on for Nuke. We'll start to get a little bit more income as well as a little bit more sustained tier for the Corky. Not going to be too surprising as Mickey caught out. Hexbox coming in from Lebrov. Really difficult for him to escape this one. Nice body box from Lebrov. Additional stun follow up. Flick back there. The seismic shove. Mickey slowly getting whittled down. And you know what? I take it back. Talia, great champion, does a lot of work in the early game. BDS are playing incredibly well after pushing lanes. Like, you've got control. And so far, they've been finding really good angles against G2 now. Let's see if he can get another smite. Nice use of the wall. Hansama looking for an angle to set he up. Does. Arrow going in and again. Now LeBron finding the double knock upon Hansama again, trying to find that angle to all, but it's just not enough. Double kill for Sheo. Monster performance from the BDS jungler. What is G2 doing? Another dragon being forced in this early game. Now Broken Blade goes for a 1v1. Second proc. Good bit of damage. Threat. But this is crazy to me. G2 forcing these early dragons, forcing these early fights. And against a Lucian plus this Talia, I'm, I am shocked that they are trying to force this because I feel like the results are obvious. Yeah, it just feels like they have no respect for BDS's early game here. And BDS have been doing a fantastic job of finding these moments to punish. And again, credit to Lebrov. He had a great game at the end of the, on the Rakan yesterday. And now in the Alistair, he's making it tough. Bit of a lockdown there. Mickey waiting as long as possible before he goes for the hook. Pulverize going in, but you can see G2 really trying to find the angle. Flash forward, ulti paired up. It means they will get the pick on the Alistair, but in the grand scheme of things, really just a consolation prize. Ranger player. <laughs> what can't he do? Other than push the lane. He can, he can win a lot. He can, he can do pretty good. If he gets all those cooldowns, he gets enough brittle procs. Looks solid. But now Hansama going to be the one in trouble. Immediate combo. Oh, 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 oh. And this is the problem. When the Talia is oh, so strong. But they don't quite finish it. A little bit of healing. He's got so much healing coming in. Hansama still standing. Bloodthirst first, baby. Is not enough. Ice with a very casual backstep into the volley. And now it's Yike going in. The knock going to come through. Adam just barely able to slice and dice his way out to save team. Broken Blade coming in as well. Base damage for Orn. Is it enough to try to finish the job to get a few of these? Shut down Shale. Taking off the map, 600 gold for the Broken Blade, and Ice is continuing to backstab, continuing to be a nuisance. It feels like the Dragon in game one. I don't know how this happened, but it's a hot mess on the bottom side. That was a two for two affair, make it three oh. for two. Ice now looking Redive. to finish the job. Adam just needs to wait for There's his cooldowns. There's bloodlust on this team. He doesn't have W up yet. Waiting to tank the tower, trying to dice through. Ice gonna finish the kill, not even gonna tank a single shot himself. Beat in a series ever before and right now they are performing out of their minds against one of their biggest Remember. oh no lebrov i'm gonna hold that thought lebrov the hex flash hot sama the headbutt pulled into the arrow the cleanse not available not enough life steal to come through easy pickup for bds and they break mid lane tower as well 5k gold lead before we even hit the 15 minute mark i'm sorry any further behind tp now to the bottom lane Cap showing up, hoping just to get the objective bounty. But again, Lebrov and Sheo, C champion, kill champion. Good news for Mickey. Tanky enough to at least initially walk away, but the body block coming through from Lebrov is clean, and there's just nothing they can do about it. BDS are punishing G2 so well. They see the TP on bot, know they've got numbers advantage, and Lebrov just waltzes on into their jungle and picks off Mickey. Now there's Rift Arrow, there goes Top Terror, and again, you're training even on the map for BDS, but getting objectives and kills as well. This all started with a level one invade from Sheo.
and his bot lane. Off the back of finding that kill onto Yike, denying those camps, they have snowballed this game beautifully. The arrow. Oh, connecting. Caps now has to fight. Yike should just be a dead man walking. There's so much damage. Rockaway now trying to dissuade any further follow up in the layering. The oh. CC is good. Yike able to turn it back, able to get the shutdown. Nuke tried to TP in to save the rest Control of the play. has been flawless so far, and they're going to unlock another tower in the bot lane, which means that that should be all the added towers now gone. BDS should have much Very more strong ultimates on their composition. But how do you get that setup when BDS are so good at controlling the game? Like you can see right now, they're just going to pick off Caps. Caps. Holding on to the Valkyrie, luckily the arrow not going to connect, but still, Renek is so damn strong. Adam going in, Caps forced to flash out. LeBrov now coming from behind. Waiting, biding his time. BDS dropped the Herald here. LeBrov didn't have Ignite, so couldn't just one-shot Caps off the back of that. Caps barely escaping, but now there's the Rift Child. They're going to try and take it, BB. He's doing caressing the top tower. <laughs> <laughs> He's caressing? Yeah. And opening it it's down sensual. as, as the Nuke is moving into that top end. Uh, I mean, he was able Over. to do a decent... Hope that they can hold on to that because Ice just continues to not only have better push, which means better base vision, but has access to the hawk shot. Now the arrow goes in. Easy target selection wall coming in as well. They're completely set up for Jao. And Jao is so damn powerful already. One gonna be deleted. Hot summon now trying to run away. Well, Rob, not enough damage. Broken Blade ready to try and turn this one back. Another kill coming through. Broken Blade at least getting one in return, but it'll only be Han Sama standing. 1920. Too damn soon in the game for BDS to start the Baron, but they'll be happy with a third Drake. His name is Ice, but it BDS huge. to shut them down. Broken Blade is able to get something back, but BDS are dominating in game Pretty two. Able to close this one out. Now is it the Ash that hits the drawing board? That gets taken out of the equation. Too rarely on the back foot in draft, oh, but here oh, they oh. certainly are. Shea going to go for the setup. That's a two and a half item. Talia. One combo does it. Caps though gets a shutdown in the bottom lane. Nuke get, didn't see the context there, but good job, Caps. Caps are able to get something back, but BDS still in a great position when you look at just setting up this vision. Looks like they might start to turn over towards this barn as well. They have a lot of damage with the Kraken Slayer and Shale, but they can get the they're going to look for the caps. Yeah, they're baitness. Look in. TP now going. Broken Blade, does he want to start the fight? Knock up, not going to connect into ice crucially. Forcing the ulti out. They're going to try to land everything that they can. The wall coming in from Shale, but it looks like it's going to be too late. Ice taken out of the equation. The Brav now running. BDS caught out of position. G2. They use a lot of TPs, they use a lot of ultis, but they're able to find the picks. Shao still up, but both carries still down. LeBron taking out as much time as he possibly can as G2 now turn back to the Baron. Yeah, they certainly can. They've got MF on her way over. Shao is still alive. Yike needs to secure this smite to keep G2 alive in this game. Adam stacking up Fury does walk onto a ward. They know where the Renekton is. Dominus keeping him topped up. Hook from Mickey, not gonna connect. They're gonna have to flip it. They're so far behind. They don't really have any other choice. 5K getting lower. Adam now trying to go on the entire team, peeling back. But Adam doing a decent amount of work, and the rest of BDS now ready to fall. Hook from Mickey, not gonna connect. They've been forced off of the objective. Crucial the thing here, BDS. They can just forego mid terror. Actually, looks like they might even try TPs. to find it. TP's on both arrow. ends. Wall coming in as well. Caps and Yike isolated to one side. The other three on the other. Adam. Debating if he can try to move in. LeBron trying to start the fight. Ulti coming out from Broke Boy. They're looking to interrupt. The lockdown from Mickey is good. Three man knock up on the backside. LeBron going to take it out before the fight even kicks off. Caps getting one. Caps on a rampage. Hansama getting another. G2 holding the line. BDS not quite perfect on the execution as Ice manages to trade back. Caps so damn aggressive, but he gets the double in melee range of the Renekton. And now it is just Ice and Shao trying to hold on. They're so low though. Barrier already used for Ice. Only Flash remains for both of the BDS members. But G2, they know they've already won the fight. They can start to take the space from them. Decent damage from Shao. Ice retreating. They should just give this dragon up. And they will be able to deny yeah. the cap. And it's G2 that seems to be dictating the pace of the map right Immediate now. Immediate ult from Adam. G2 can just back away. Ice off to the side. Nuke waiting here. They've got good information. Trying to kick this one off. Wall coming in from Shao to try and split the fight. Yike not going to be able to initially get involved, but Ice getting chunked over the wall. Crucially, the knockup manages to land. Where's the follow up? Ike now going to look for it at the ball of time. There it is. Hansama getting one back, but Nuke wants to make the difference. Hansama crucially flashing out of range, and the Lucian's got nowhere left to go. One more relentless pursuit will not be enough. Ike down. Nuke running. 
Caps on the chase. One more auto, baby. That rapid fire cannon bringing the fight home for G2. Now they can turn their attention back towards the Baron. Or will they? over. Sheo does so much work here. Lots of damage now into Mickey X. But Yak now trying to follow up. One kill picked up. Sheo and Adam, the last two left standing. G2 scaling well into this game, holding on, and now resting control from BDS. G2 are barely able to hold on in the game, but they are pulling it back beautifully in these fights, finding those moments to get onto the key carries of BDS. Clear for them what they wanted to do, but in the back half of that fight, it's very scattered. Cheo and Adam trying to jump in as a last minute response. Nuke running away as Adam tries to clear the wave. It's a little bit chaotic. Can't afford to make those mistakes anymore because what was once a massive gold lead, not so heavily in their favor, and is G2 with the Baron buff, the TP coming through. Adam gonna try and interrupt, will do so successfully. Stop and Broken Blade from getting involved. Now he just needs to get away and he can try to use a TP of his own. But Broken Blade powerful in the 1v1, just needs to make sure Renekton cannot get involved. It's a 4v4 here. And the mid lane, Nuke just getting chunked. Again, a single rapid fire cannon auto does so much work. As Ice getting pushed back, no sums. Last cone is going to be big, massive chunk on ice, but the retreat is coming through, and Broken Blade just winning the 1v1 versus Adam. I didn't get the entire context of the Renekton. It's getting cut down to the ball. <laughs> no! Oh my god, the damage! G2 finding the angles in these fights, and BDS are crumbling. G2 are finding their moments. I'm just playing with their food at this point. Managing to chase down ice, they chase down Adam. You can already look at Yike on the dragon. And now they're going to look to crack open this mid turret as well. We need to get the goal graph on our screens ASAP because G2 have clawed themselves back from a colossal deficit. Tiny mistakes from BDS were capitalized on and G2 have punished so effectively. An 8k gold deficit is now a gold lead at long last for G2. Coordination in the fights has been key. It was scattered, it was messy in game one. Better tools now in game two and they are paying off. The deficit deleted. Advantage now there's 50 seconds left on the Baron. Just waiting off to the side with the bullet time, ready to go. Still will fish for the wall, still trying to find that good angle for BDS to get the setup, but the five-man core of G2 just about unbreakable. Coling gonna get used here. Broken Blade unconcerned. Arrow landing on the Caps is big, but the fall not quite there. Caps going gold, and Shao now ready to follow up. They might be able to get one back, but instantly they turn on Shao to deny the fall to ensure the Caps can survive. And once again, there is the bullet time. Adam off on the flank, trying to delete the core key as quick as he can. 1k gold shutdown. Adam holding on, but so many carries still standing. Triple kill for Han Sama. Looking to bring home a fourth. Adam getting cut down here. The extra healing, not enough. A quadra for Han Sama. And the final fight of the game is G2 strike back. It looks good for BDS, one stumble on a mid play, and G2 capitalized, immediately taking the game back and forcing us to a tie. Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LEC matchup. Impressive stamina here from the G2 army. Yes, I, was I, don't, just know, I don't know if it's like musket era warfare where they're like cycling people in and out of the champ, but they've just been going for the entire duration of this game. That said, it might not save Broken Blade. Shao on the way here with the Wall of Pain. Broken Blade getting lower. Should be a quick kill, but hitting those sweet spots means a bit more damage coming out. Gets the flash out of Adam. Adam wandering forward. Vision in the brush means a dead Broken Blade, but we'll at least get the flash. This is what we were talking about, though, with side lanes this having set up. as G2 secures the first dragon of the game. And as you can see, he just deletes the objective there. The power of Karthus. Incredible clear speed. The kill. Oh, a little aggressive to disrupt his tempo, but they don't end up overextending there on the bottom side. Rob ready to kick the fight off. Mickey now wandering and revealing his presence. They weren't sure if he's there. The minion still connecting means that he can get in and at least apply the passive. Decent damage now coming down. But there's the Karthus ulti. Mickey deleted and that fight turned in an instance. The power of the jungler from BDS. A 2v2 where they were not expecting the involvement of Sheo as Yike has made his way into the top lane. Ultimate thrown out. Getting involved. No flash, remember, on Adam. Broken Blade zooming in, but they'll be happy to just cut the wave into nice the XP. Area, but Broken Blade has control over the wave. It looks like that there's going to be no contest. Arrow. Arrow on the bottom side. Hex flash ready to come over the wall. The Requiem to Hansama. The calculation's not quite correct. Sheo grabbing the kill or grabbing the assist. Excuse me. Ice going to pick that one up. And BDS really have a moment. Getting that push onto Mickey, though, does help them buy the space that they kind of need now to potentially threaten that top turret. Because you can already see G2. We're basically making this play. Oh. And now BDS might be caught. GP into the top side looking to catch out BDS. 
Mickey's to the stride breaker, not going to matter too much. Mickey now hooking in, looking to lock down that twisted fate. Instantly, Mickey's in the back, I'm looking to lock up multiple members, and there's the bullet time again. Layered with the ulti from Yike, a solid pick from G2. They trade support for mid lane. And this is why it's so difficult when you're in this position as BDS, because they overextend just a little bit, but G2 had already got all that control on topside. Already one for set one, though. TP invested from Broken Blade, and the exchange did come in from Nuke, too. A couple summoners used, but... Ultimately, not going to swing the game either way. The bigger thing is the fact that Dragon is spawning in about 35 seconds. Add up. Caps. Oh. They're caught out here. One oh more. Oh, no. He keeps doing this, man. It doesn't matter what champion he's on, but since the AD carry meta it's has a come around. situation where, as strong as this Karthus is, we haven't really seen it be scary so far. And there's still opportunities for it to do just that. But, uh,. BDS with that gold lead, with that kill lead, it does feel like that it's G2 once again dictating what is happening on the map. And this is where I think if you're BDS... Uh, like in game two, it's going to be really tough for BDS to handle, especially because their primary plan, at least in terms of draft, of getting these picks has not come through at all outside of one or Here two in the early game, but now looking to force onto Yike, immediately trying to turn back onto Adam. Oh. Adam deleted! BDS not in a position to, book, to go that far, to follow. G2 grouped up enough to stop the pick from coming through. They didn't have the way, play back, because the only way that there is a window for BDS to come back into this is finding a play by nice. too far. Oh, oh Mickey! The, hook, the predict from Mickey right on time. G2 fishing for an angle, but now the TP coming in. Adam might want to fire one back. Just the gold card. G2 with the enemy AD carry deleted. Where do they want to go? 12 seconds before the Ocean Soul. There was a promising early start from BDS. They were able to find some good picks, get a good lead. But as we've entered the mid game, GTS, GTS, GTS G2 baby. have circumvented any potential picks, have controlled the objectives, and now they have an Ocean Soul. And I think it's been BDS not really finding those moments to cross map effectively in the early stages. You really need to trade all the time. And in LeBron, might be trading his life here. Get caught out, looking for the flank. Looking to move deep into enemy territory, hoping to get a creative angle in the fight to come. Now the chase down. Should just be dead. Might take a bit of time here. Might be but Baron too. Rob will fall eventually. Broken Blade. Feeling good about this one. Two and a half items now on the Aatrox after surviving the lane against Twisted Fate. He gets a kill. He's got an Ocean Soul. The GG will now start Baron and they will force you to come and fight them. Alright, Shao's stolen once before, but he's the Karthus this time around. Can he get into the pit? Can he make it happen? Hook on to Shale. Wall down. Bullet time. Going to immediately get around to the battle of Nuke with a decent calling, but he's just not doing much damage. This Ocean Soul is so damn oppressive. G2, get the objective. Can now turn right onto BDS, and they're all basically full health. G2 dominating. Those advantages they've been building up all game finally paying off. There's just nothing that BDS can do. This game was over 10 minutes ago. It was only just waiting for G2 to put the final nail in the coffin. Shao running for his life, but I mean, maybe the plants can get over the wall here. He for didn't Yike. even use his ultimate in the fight. It no. was such a one-sided slaughter from G2. Oh, he's just barely able to go back to base. Now the ulti comes through. Yeah, screw you, Vinny. <laughs> That's the, that Look is, what it did. That is the frustration <laughs> ultimate. <laughs> that is the double lift flash of ultimate. You use it because you're not going to get another chance. Shao. Oh, God. <laughs> not, not pretty, is it? <laughs> well, turns out Ocean Soul and Baron is quite an oppressive combo. BDS struggling to mount a defense here. G2 again clean and composed. I mean, in it's this been a slow three. and painful affair, right? They've just taken their time. They've been very steady. Zagda highlighted it nicely where they've been really respectful of the Twisted Fate Ultimate 2. And now that's three inhibitors. They were just waiting. Caps just said, guys, I've almost got my item. Let's just wait a second. Goes back, grabs it immediately. Straight on the back. Actually connected onto Nuke as well. That is what it looked like, yes. Ouch. Kind of crazy. Going in. Again, they can just walk these waves in. It'll be tough for BDS to respond. Caps just going to stay healthy. LeBrov looking for that flank. Hansama stepping Oof. up, but they don't really do enough damage. Cap steps in, finds the kill. LeBrav on his lonesome, not going to do much as Broken Blade tanks three members of BDS. Colin coming out, gold card will connect, but now it's Cap who instantly steps up, gets he the triple. They want the Pento, oh, oh, they want to feed it to him. Are they willing to dive? Berlin is bloodthirsty. The G2 army, bloodthirsty. They want to oh. give Caps this Penta, but no! no. <laughs> it is a Quadra! And Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's LEC matchup. Won't actually see this. 
Nuke walking up to the brush. The power of Leona early on. No tenacity. Nuke getting shredded. Will just accept his fate here. First blood going over to Caps before the lane has even started. The Brawl burnt the heal as well. They're going to struggle Us. with it. I think we know. Uh, okay, no. so here we go. Classic objective trade. Textbook early game. I, you know, BDS right now don't have a lot of pressure, but obviously getting those grubs I will early say, on like, does feel good. Change to see coming in as we've reached further into its playoffs. Regardless, ultimately, no harm, no foul, really. The only major advantage that we're seeing is in favor of Caps. So. McKee locked up, level six. Nice angle coming in from Sheo instantly. Caps caught off guard. Thought they'd be following up on Mickey, and now they might get Mickey as well. Yike doing his best to disrupt this. Now rooting up, but a nice comeback from Lebrov there as he goes back to Nuke. Stops any follow up. Flick forcing the flash out from Yike. Overall, excellent play in the mid lane for BDS. Nicely done, Nuke! Oh! With the flash for Boulder straight to the face of Mickey. Nice punish as BDS finds them. And the fact that he's staying in lane suggests that G2 probably just quite happy to give up the, uh, those grubs. You can see Lebrov waiting for a moment before he starts to move up, trying to sniff out where Mickey is going to go, what the focus is going to be. So a decent number of the G2 line up on the top side of the map. But BDS are going to be here first. Yike, though, the one to try to make this play happen. In the meantime, it's a split fight. Caps now trying to slide and glide his way in. But the minefield doing good work. The knockback coming in. And the ult just a little bit too late, but still Nuke will fall. Lebrov about to fall next. Sheo desperately trying to get anything back. Rocket not quite going to connect on Caps. The level up healing will not keep him alive. Sheo at least able to get one in return, but very, very slowly, Sheo will fall. Yike and Mickey grabbing the kill together. It's just a brawl in the mid lane, but it is G2 that start off the fight. I wasn't expecting them to try and challenge this, but they catch me. Caps as well with the Nash's tooth picked up a little bit earlier. That uh, Archangel staff slowly as it continues to gain more stacks as the dragon now going to be secured by G2. And cracking an adaptation for Han Sama, Bloodthirster first has been the priority in the vast That's majority true. of our MF games. But this is one of the few MF games where we have two tanks on the opposing end. LeBron ready. They have a lot of CC they can layer, but without ice in the area, the question is, do they have enough damage? Harold low enough now that they should be able to finish the eye turns. Yike going to grab that one. BDS realizing their opportunity to fight has essentially passed. Meanwhile, on the bot lane, 1v1, Broken Blade getting slowly chunked down by Adam, going all out now. Broken Blade just needs to heal as much as he can, but he gets taken down. Ulti follow-up coming from BDS. Now they're trying to turn back as Mickey lays down the Solar Flare. Lebrov looking to follow through as well. Ulti blocked by Hansama. Now trying to arrive. Still a few more seconds left on the quickness, but no, the Ulti from Hansama just doesn't do enough damage. The difference between the Bloodthirster, but it does not matter. Nuke trying to escape. All of G2 trying to interrupt him, but he'll manage to make it out alive. They went for the engage, but Ice didn't move, so now they're trying to escape but oh, you've the got Hex the tech riff. Yike now ready to follow. Does not have the flash. It should be just fine. Red buff for Hansam, but not confident Tim enough to to safety. But as you rightly said, the bigger takeaway is ultimately... Hang on. Uh oh he found Amundo waiting in that brush. Amundo, again, the passive name, goes where he pleases. And it aptly named indeed the CC doing nothing to stop that kill from Broken Blade. Now the good news for G2 is that they will be able to equalize a tower. So this is where you're in a little bit of an awkward spot now as BDS. You have to contest this dragon, it feels like, because you invested so much on boss. Right now, Engage initially coming in. Solid damage onto Mickey. Mickey, though, gonna get locked up under tower. BDS happy to just have that quick pick. Onto the G2 support. Positioning of Mickey was poor there. He landed a nice ultimate onto Ice. Doesn't get the cleanse out from him, though, as Hans chooses not to commit the bullet time. This means a guaranteed number There was no ult committed by BDS to this, so they're in a position where they could try and contest. Lebrov is very low trying to walk through here. Antama off to the side. Mickey getting aggressive onto Lebrov. Nuke stopped from getting any further into the play. Ulti going in from Sheo. The Dragon not really low enough for him to try to steal it. Mickey still standing strong. The damage split from the side of BDS. Adam now in the midst of the entire team. That is one powerful Cassante. But they instantly turn. Look to leverage their CC. The Dragon, though, picked up by Sheo. Again, he wins the smite fight. It feels like every time it's been a 50-50, Sheo has come out on top, and now it's Nuke in trouble. Nice sidestep on the briefcase. The infected bones are not going to land. That one will, but again, no follow-up damage. I cannot believe BDS managed to get away with that. They don't really have the damage to fight G2 right now, and the positioning that they were in was not great, but they sneak away the dragon. They're able to reset. There is no TP to try and defend this mid lane turret, though, at the moment, so I think G2 should get this off the back of the play. I mean... I am kind of dumbfounded by the fact that BDS got that. As you already said, Dark Dudes. Oh, Mickey, he's gonna die. Yep. Caught out here. Really nowhere to go. Lebrov wandering over to Hansama to see if maybe there was a follow-up kill to be had. But Mickey eventually that. will fall. Ice happy to have that one. 2-0. The score for the Jinx is capsule. At the very least, get a tower back in response in the bottom lane.
two level lead for Caps. Well, I say that, one level lead now for Caps in the mid lane matchup. But Ice securing two kills is going to be huge for him. This Jinx continues to get some resources funneled into it. I have their eyes set on this mid tier one as well. And I don't know if Hans, I mean, he has his ulti in theory if he needs the wave clear. No. Hans Sama. Baiting them in a little bit. Flashes back to safety. Caps now standing behind them, but the TP is already there. And again, Adam is a big problem. He does so much work in isolation. Nukefield going to be the one who's in trouble now as Yike instantly jumps in. Caps happy to grab that kill. Adam now with three members hitting him is just not tanky enough. Broken Boy chasing it as well to make it for G2. Happy to grab another one. LeBron only getting out courtesy of the Hexgate. But Mickey's on the chase. He has ult. LeBron, where is he going to go? Mickey? Does he want to burn any more CC? The answer is no. He's now running, realizing the rest of BDS can collapse on him. Harold's going to get used mid lane. TP coming in as well. All of G2 setting their sights on the Baron. 20 minutes in, they've already oh. laid down the Azir tower. And this is the power of the Azir matching the DPS of an AD carry in the context of this game. And BDS, do they, not they know? don't know. They didn't see the TP into mid. They didn't know that this was going to happen. And now it's too late. The Baron is gone. Rocket, Mickey looking to body block. <laughs> I don't think anyone has stolen. But it looks good. It's similar to what he did before, where he TP'd in because he wants to be there for his team. But it's TP just left him out to drive because BDS were already committed to retreating. Sheo again, a fantastic ult, but the follow up difficult to find. Adam trying to lock up Caps. Nice knockback coming in as well. The Azir taking out of the equation, but he does manage to get the ult off, which is crucial. Keep your eyes on Han Sama. That's where the damage has to come from the bullet time. Hitting hard, but not hard enough. The rest of G2 now chasing. Broken Blade coming up as well. We can keep our eyes on the Mundo in the mini map. Hexgate going through. We'll see. Ice in trouble now. <laughs> He's going where he pleases, Dracos. Two fans calling for blood. The top father. But now maybe they can turn back onto the Mundo. Ice just trying to walk around this threat. The CC there, and Ice is still up. They're hoping to get the reset now. The rocket not quite going to connect. Ice still relatively healthy. Oh. Hotsama trying to turn through the tower. Ice might just be able to find the reset. Yike about to get taken down. One more on us to do it. Ice now on a rampage. Hansama is dead. Mickey's in trouble, and we've been here before, folks. Ice set up to carry the fight. The patient's from oh. but now he doesn't respect the flash. He gives his life, but they should be able to get Broken Blade back. It is a hot mess. Yes. An absolute affair of ca You know, a bit of a comedy of errors. Hansama taking tower aggro. Had to be a bit of a misstep there. BDS happy to punish now. Grab their second Drake of the game. The soul scaling option for G2 off the table as Broken Blade remains quite tanky. Good pullback. Without ice here, it's a bit tough to burst through Broken Blade's health bar. A lot of pressure in the top side. Ice is going to move it down onto the bot side. So, oh, oh, that's a knockback. That's going to be big. And again, that's the killing spree coming through again. Caps has been caught out. Adam running forward. New continuing to step up. This is where Talia's sustained damage is going to feel so damn good. They really cannot burn through that health bar. Quick flash back. Solar Flare not going to connect either. But Broken Blade starting to run rampant. These procs coming in left and right. Finally, the knockback going to be there. The ulti there as well. Adam getting lower and lower. But Hansama already gone. Just walks up and kills him with what? the Quadra. What? Kaswante, what? baby. Get the copy ready. Get the pasta ready. He's still in the game. Penta for Adam. They didn't have their AD carry. Ice was pushing on the bottom side. So Kisante's like, well, I'm an AD carry now, I guess. Penta kills off the back of it. And BDS, they crack open the base. And that's what you fail to understand, Agda. That's what you fail to understand. Orn might have been the original assassin tank carry mage. But in this Having age... Having a very good game, finding solo kills against Broken Blade, the knockback against Hans underneath the tower. He finds another setup. We look back from his POV, but you have to look at the minimap. It's all over the shop from G2. They shouldn't be re-engaging at this point. The communication is, oh, we've got the Misfortune on her way, but she's too far away. And then look at this nice ulti from Sheo straight onto the MF. The knockback from Adam as well. And it's just, it's a pentakill for Cassante as BDS I, is looking to bring us to game five. And again, the exact thing that we said about the Mundo, about how, oh, he's going to be so tough to kill, it's Stannis. very... Um, and it becomes an a question of... And a wizard. Uh, ...whether or not he can survive the fight and if he can dish out the damage, because if anyone's going to kill Adam, it will, be, it will be Caps. And look, it's a lot of pressure on G2 to hold the line oh, here yike. to stop this from going to a game five. BDS. Good calls, unstoppable. The objective coming through, but they're really only hitting front line right now. Yike caught out, looking for the reset to find it. Yike flashing away, but they might still be able to finish the kill. Yike caught, and again, that's the reset now coming in for Jinx. BDS, Adam, isolated, but we've been here before. The tower set up, surely the Cassandra will fall, using Mickey as a highway to walk away. 
Alti's still going. Still a few more seconds where he can go all out. Lebrov ready to go over the wall if he needs to, but BDS happy to just turn their sights and look at the Baron. I don't know if Caps misclicked, but he TP to the bot wave as G2 went for the engage there. So they were down four versus five as they engaged. It looked like a little bit of a misstep, and now BDS, they're on the Baron. G2 barreling down the mid lane, trying to see what they can do. Ike is gone. No chance really for a 50-50. Instead, hoping just to threaten, maybe catch BDS off guard. And potentially a huge upset. An opportunity for them to fight the finals against G2. Yike. Hang oh, on a minute. Again, the ulti there. Yike. He has a flash. Stepping into his jungle, but it's really not his jungle anymore. They will slowly burn this Maokai down. Decent healing coming in for the Sat Magic passive, but it's just not enough. There's too much CC. The combination of Adam with Sheo is just infinite CC. And Ice just gets to clear out the Dragon and then immediately move up towards his mid lane. Baron buff in full effect. Supers on the bot wave. G2 are bleeding. Caps gets caught. Again, Q3 from Adam is big, but you can see the damage is there now. G2 can shred through the Cassante if they get the time to do so. Hansami doing his best to clear the wave. Caps doing his best to clear the wave. BDS playing on two fronts, bot and mid, at this very moment. TP now coming in. Adam getting involved. A bit of harassment down onto him, but not a whole hell of a lot of damage. Broken Blade on the Mundo, not the best wave clear. G2. This Jinx is also terrifying with the itemization. You have to respect Ice so much. Cap's doing what he can, but I don't know if they can hold on to this stuff much longer. E bit of CC. Nuke playing down the wall. The tower will fall. Mickey also likely to fall as well. If Ice gets a single reset, this fight is going to turn very quickly instead. Sight set on the inhibitor. G2, five members. Ready to force the fight, knowing they can't give up too much more. Mickey going to find the initial stun. Gonna be able to go through with the Zenith play, but just getting chipped away. Alti, not gonna be able to connect. Lebron now looking to fall on Caps, and that's Karen getting caught out. That's the fight for BDS. Hansama desperately trying to turn it back. Autos left and right. Love taps coming in. Adam has he overstayed his welcome. Unstoppable, but it might not matter. Hansama trying to make the difference. It's broken blade in the meantime. Mundo again going where he pleases, and he damn well does not please to go to game five. Mundo is the new Cassante right now. Adam jumped into the back line and Broken said, I, Broken is like, I like the idea of that. He kills Ice despite everyone trying to peel him. And now it's G2 that are the ones pushing in that top side. The question is, can G2 get much off the back of this? It's a huge team fight win. They'll secure the top tower. They keep their bot lane inhibitor alive. But G2 stopped the push on top side, and now it actually might turn into a bit of a base race scenario. But G2, they don't Jinx have those windows. five grubs. And this is where BDS, they're going to try and push through. Adam going to catch out Cap, should prevent this tower from going down. And this could be another inhibitor about to fall. On top of maybe can just ult to clear the way, but has to be careful about stepping too far up. Four members of BDS there. Adam set up to protect mid lane, has his TP. Cap's now TPing forward, looking for the extended flank. He's behind them. Eyes on ice and Nuke. If he can find the scoop, maybe they can find the fight. Caps now spotted off on the side. Decent damage. Knock up, not going to connect. Nice backstep coming over Caps, but Adam is in the midst of the G2 backline. Unfortunately, the rest of the team is not ready for the follow-up. Now ulting Mickey back into his own team. Adam peeling back beautifully, but Mortal Lebron getting lower and lower. Adam now running. Has to immediately cancel the all-out to keep those tanky stats. But it's Nuke who's been isolated. Forced to flash. G2 still walking forward. Broken Blade healing up so much. Nuke trying to outplay, trying to survive. Caps looking for the 1v1. Flashing over the flick back. The soldier's going a little bit wide, though. Nuke still holding on for a second. The threaded volley, but Caps one final auto. We'll Jinx see Rocket, the deal. Jinx Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> to a Jinx! They have to do something. I don't know if they even realize that they've moved over towards it, so it's Baron. I mean, I don't see how they so. can really contest it. They've yeah. got Caps on the top side of the map. He doesn't have TP. This is the best case scenario for them. G2 trade the Baron for the soul. The wave of Broken Blade Pass will be up uh, pretty quickly in the late game for the Mundo. Here we go, it's BDS with first access into the river. They also have a pretty good wave in the bot lane. Mickey Mickey off the sides. Acting as the front line. Hunt some of the passively taking a lot of damage. A bit awkward for him. Slowly BDS chipping away at those carry health bars. Hextech Drake doing a lot oh, of it's work here. Is, yep. Mickey, he's losing a lot. Again, the wall marks, though. If they start a fight on low HP and Ice gets a reset, it's so easy for BDS to win. Here we go. Remember the ship has nice been winning the all the smite fights. Looking to lock up Mickey. Looking to hopefully find the reset. Flick back is good. Instantly, they're going to kick up one. Now Ice gets the reset, but instead he's focused on the Elder. He's not quite where he needs to be for the rest of the team. The ball of time coming in. But LeBron instantly going to cancel. The flick back on to three from Nuke is massive. Ice, though, still getting cut down. G2 still alive. The Jinx reset's not enough. Broken Blade. The wolf of top lane right now, Adam TPing out, trying to hold the base, but it is Caps and Broken Blade double TPs in, ready to end the game here. They will not give BDS a game five. Adam might.
might just have to make the difference in his own. Kang is being pushed away. Ulti, decent damage. Caps now dashing through, but Broken Blade also just does so much damage. G2 stealing the chance at a game five, securing themselves. These were the best highlights from today's LEC matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.